do you realize that there's over 46,000 tweets by Mr. Williams on that Twitter account? I have not counted the tweets. Do you realize that that Twitter account is still active today? Yes, sir. Do you, and it's called X now, right? That it is, it's correct. And do you realize that the tweets that you <clears throat> pulled out were one line by, I think you, you stated earlier, by a word search? Is that your understanding? I don't think that was exactly my testimony. I, it does appear based on there being a bold letter in the tweet that it was done through a word search. I wasn't there for that process, nor am I testifying about what that process was. Well, you knew you were going to testify about those tweets, right? I did. So I presume that you looked around for the context of those tweets before you got on the witness stand and raised your right hand, right? Uh, I wouldn't say I looked around um, for that context. As I said previously, we were monitoring his Twitter account even during this time period and watching tweets come in. Um, including some or maybe even all of these. Okay, perfect. Then you're familiar with the tweets surrounding the tweets that you, you identified. Yeah, obviously, I don't remember the tweets around every one of these. I'm not asking you to remember them, but I could show them to you. You've looked at them, obviously. At, at some point, okay. likely, yes. Perfect. Okay, let's talk about some of these tweets, if you don't mind. Um, and I think we have it, but if I need your help, can I ask you for this? But I think we may have it. Um, Your Honor, with the court's permission, I believe it's already in evidence. I'm going to show you um, State's Exhibit Number 31, if Mr. Kokomo can assist Your Honor. <clears throat> Tell me if you can do me a favor and orient yourself with um, State's Exhibit Number 31, okay? Yes, sir. You ready? I am. All right. Now, the state's exhibit number 31, this is dated July 1, 2012, right? Yes, it is. And um, it's from Mr. what I'm calling Jeffrey's Twitter account, Young Thug, right? Yes, sir. And then you see that mark, um, true religion mark? I do. Next to it. Um, if you did this yesterday, don't do it again, but if you didn't, just show the jurors what, where the true religion mark is on the uh, screen above you, if you don't mind. I don't believe I did it yesterday. Could you do it then? Okay, and it um, looks like um, almost, and I know it's not exactly like a horseshoe. That's correct. Okay, and I'm assuming since you test you're testifying about it and you've studied um, for years, Mr. Williams' Twitter account, you know the background of that symbol, right? Well, I think, again, that misrepresents my testimony. Okay, well, I'm not trying to misrepresent your testimony. Tell me, <clears throat> tell us, tell me what I misrepresent. Um, that I, for years, studied Mr. Williams' account. You didn't do that. I wouldn't say that I was studying his account. I've certainly seen uh, a number of his tweets and reviewed them as part of our investigations. All right. Well, let's go through this. That symbol, I'm just calling it a symbol. That's true religion symbol. Is that fair to say? Um, yes. And true religion, if you know, is uh, uh, pants? Well, so I want to be specific. That symbol, I believe, is, is uh, meant to be the true religion logo or used in that way. It's not identical to that logo, nor is that character, I believe, the actual logo. Okay. Just so we're clear. Okay, that's fine. But similar to, I guess. Yes. Make it correct. And true religion, which is um, a fashion item, right? It is. And you're aware that Mr. Williams is, um, I would be, an icon in fashion. Is that true? I don't know that I would be aware of that. Okay. He's... Um, He's uh, in clothing lines and fashion means a lot to him, if you know. I, I don't know how much fashion means to him. Okay. All right. And also, you're aware that True Religion, that sign has a guitar with it. Are you aware of that? Am I aware of? The pants has a guitar with it. That has a good... A guitar, a musical instrument. Are you aware of that? I'm aware of a guitar. You, you, I'm correct, right? No, I'm, I don't understand your question. Objection. Does it have... It's in the tweet. And B, like I said, one is in the two. <coughs> and now we're talking about true religion jeans. So true religion, true religion jeans is relevant. And it is Excuse me, this is a speaking objection. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to, 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 I'm
John Francis Pinks. Are you aware that the, the true religion genes has a guitar musical component? Objection, relevant. I'm making it relevant. And one more question. Oh. I don't understand the question. Am I, am I aware that true religion genes has a guitar? Yeah, are you aware of that? That question makes no sense to me, I'm sorry. A picture of a guitar with the genes? Are you aware of what I'm talking about? Are you asking about a logo? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to picture their logo. Um, I think they do have a version of that where there's a guitar in it. And then are you aware that they took that symbol that is similar to a horseshoe um, from Buddha, Buddhist Objection. teachings. The true, the true religion, it's also a religious component. Are you aware of that? Objection. The origins of the true religion logo are outside my expertise. Okay. Are you aware that Mr. Williams is involved in music? I am. He's involved in fashion. I don't know the extent of his involvement in fashion. At all? Uh, no, sir. You don't know the spider brand? I've seen the clothing, but I don't know his involvement in it, no. No idea. Okay. I, mean, I, I don't. And um, the religious component means humility. Do you realize that? Objection, speculation. Objection. All right. Now, let's go through this. July 1, 2012, States Exhibit number 31W. And it says, follow my little bros at cartel with a K underscore DK and rock crew underscore little Rod right now. Is that, did I say it fairly correctly? Yes, sir. All right. And little Rod, just to be clear to the ladies and gentlemen, jury, has nothing to do with Mr. Ryan, who's on trial here, and as far as you know. Is that true? As far as I know, it does not. Okay. And um, to prepare for this tweet and tell the jurors, I presume you went to DK Cartel on that day and Rock Crew, Little Rod on that day, and saw that they're asking people to follow Jeffrey Williams' musical career. Um, no, I didn't review their tweets from that day. Okay. Did you realize that on that day, because you said that you reviewed tweets around that day, right? Tweets for that day to prepare for testimony? No, I didn't. The way that works. Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't believe that that was my testimony. Did you review, to prepare for this jury, did you review the tweets to put in context of what Mr. Williams is tweeting? I reviewed the tweets that were going to be um, shown to me on the stand, and some of them I viewed within their context, and others I did not. Okay, well, let's talk about these in context, okay? Okay. I'm going to show you what I'm going to mark as Mr. Williams number 43, Your Honor, if I may. These are the tweets around the same time, if, with Mr. Kokomo's permission. Obje well, Your Honor, can we objection? Racist. That he, first of all, said he was going to show us something. He hasn't, show, he hasn't introduced it. He just put up evidence that has not even been admitted. Are you aware? that on June 1, 2012, Mr. Williams... Uh, objection, Your Honor, that's going to be hearsay. It's, this is not hearsay. It's, I'm aware of the objection. Are, are you, uh, I'm sorry. Are you aware that Mr. Williams, on July 1, 2012, at the time of that tweet that you just talked about, was on his way to Chattanooga, Tennessee, to a Stop the Violence concert? No, I'm not. Did you ever bother to look at the tweets that surrounded that tweet to prepare for your testimony today? I wouldn't put it in that context, but no, I did not review the, the tweets around this. I'm going to show you those tweets. Did the state show you the tweets that I gave them? I don't know what tweets you gave them. Well, did the state show you tweets around July 12, 2012 to prepare for your testimony? Um, I don't know the dates of all the tweets that I reviewed. <laughs> Did they tell you that I gave them tweets? Uh, no, no, sir, I don't believe so. All right, well, let me show you what I will mark as Mr. Williams number 43. Okay, can you see that? I can. From where you're sitting? Yes, right. sir. Now, 
the you know how tweets work you go left side bottom up and then right side bottom up are you familiar with that um typically tweets are in you know kind of one single stream format so depending on how these are laid out okay, these are bottom up okay okay let's start on the left hand side okay you see that photograph i do now you mentioned that photograph on direct examination yesterday do you recall that i do and that is uh mr uh, Walter Murphy, right? Yes, it is. And uh, he's also known as DK, right? Yes, he is. And you've explained what DK stands for. I did. All right. And um, he's making a, um, with his right hand, do you see that you explained yesterday, he's making a Bloods Gang sign? I did. All right. And then in the left hand, well, do you notice he's in a car? Yes. Or a vehicle, I shouldn't say a car. Is that true? He is. And it appears that he is in the back, uh, maybe past, uh, driver's side. And if that's wrong, just say that's wrong. It does look, that's correct. All right. And then, and Mr. Kokomo blows it up a little bit. In his left hand, he is holding um, the, uh, the cover to Mr. Uh, Williams' album that you talked about, or mixtape you talked about yesterday, right? Yes. And the, um, you see where it says Young Thug ICFN3? I do. And you, you already told the jurors, but just for completeness, that stands for, um, I came from nothing in your opinion, right? Correct. And this is the third set or the third series? Yes. All right. And it's music? Yes, it is. All right. And then um, if Mr. Kokomo would do me a favor, we read that tweet, and that's the one that the uh, state put in, also um, a different state's <clears throat> number, but um, my blood brother at cartel underscore DK pound I and then the five instead of the C FN three on the way dough. You see that? Yes. All right. And you talked about that yesterday, correct? I did. And what you found interesting was the uh, fact that DK um, is holding the blood sign called my blood brother and um, the C as in I came from nothing is turned into a five. And if I miss something, I'm not trying to, but that's basically a summary of what you said about that. Yesterday. Yes. All right. I'd like to complete um, those tweets. Okay. I'd like to talk to you about with them, okay? Yes? This yes. is number 43, Mr. Williams. All right. So the next tweet would be the one that the state already put in that we were talking about. Follow my little bros at cartel underscore DK at rock crew underscore little rod right now, right? Yes, sir. And they're the same dates, right? It is. July 1, 2012. And Ms. Mr. Kokomo can help us out and show the next two tweets or the next tweet. And that one is also the same date, July 1, 2012. It's also Mr. Williams' um, handle, and it says, in Tennessee, or TN, with my bros at uh, cartel underscore DK at rock crew underscore little rod, uh, uh, hashtag we working, right? Yes. Okay. And did you know when you testified yesterday to the bottom two tweets that these were tweeted on the way to Tennessee Chattanooga to perform in the Stop the Violence. Objection around speculation. I asked him if he knew. Oh, the objection. I did not. Okay. Now, um, I, we're going to go, I believe, to the right-hand side of that same Mr. Williams number 43. We start at the bottom. And again, same date. And Mr. Williams, or whomever, is writing, this mixed tape is a true definition of where I came from, and then dot, 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 nothing. And that's a play on the title of the album, right, or the, or the mixtape, right? It does appear to be yes. Talking about music, right? Uh, it appears to be yes. Okay, the next uh, one, um, same date, the tweet reads, Mr. Williams' Twitter, turn nothing into something today, correct? Yes. That's an inspirational saying, would you agree? Uh, sure. Okay, and also a play on the mixtape, I came from nothing, right? Yes. All right. The next one is on the same date, correct? It is. So July 1, and then it says, excuse me, I apologize. Seriously, though, to progress, we got to hashtag stop the violence. You see that? I do. You were unaware of that when you were telling the jurors yesterday about the importance of these tweets, right? Um, yeah, I, yes. Okay, and then the last one on this page of Mr. Williams, number 43, says, um, same date, chat town, we hear for the, well, it's a duh, hashtag stop the violence campaign, Wasm, which you already said what that means yesterday, right? 
Yeah, I don't remember if we discussed it yesterday. You know what WASM means? Um, it essentially means what's happening or what's up. Okay. And Chattown, you know that to be a shortened version of Chattanooga, Tennessee? I do. All right. And were you familiar at any time about the Stop the Violence campaign and concert that occurred on July 1, 2012? Um, if you're asking about it at any time, I don't remember if I was aware of it in 2012. Are you aware of it today as you sit here testing? I, I am now, but I had not, I was, there's not my recollections today when I sat down here. You were aware that this was in response to Trayvon Martin getting killed and other people. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. Ask him if he's aware. Oh, um, no, sir. You were aware that Trayvon Martin was uh, killed earlier that year, February. Um, I wouldn't have recalled the year exactly, but uh, that, I couldn't dispute that's the time frame when that happened. Now, understanding these contexts of the tweets that we just went through on Mr. Williams 43W, which I included the state's tweets that you talked about yesterday, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to ask you a couple of questions. All these tweets are about listen to Jeffrey's music, get on DK, cartel, excuse me, cartel underscore DK, and hashtag, um, or and at Rock Crew, Little Rod, about his music. You realize that? I think the question may have changed in the middle. Did you realize it's all about his music? Objection, or that'd be speculation. Do you, I mean, objection. Do you realize? I'm saying Mr. a question, too. Okay. Do you realize that it's all about music? Objection, Your Honor. It's still going to speculation in the speaker's mindset. I'll, I'll sustain the question. Do you know, as you sit here today, don't speculate, that it's all about, all these tweets are about music? Objection, Your Honor. That's the same question. But he's telling him not to speculate, and he will be speculating. I stand in objection. All right. Let's do this. Let's go to state's exhibit number four, 34. And I believe there were several, so let's do, do the top one. I do. Okay. And do you remember that, uh, discussing that tweet? I do. And do you remember explaining to the jury that this was according to the tweet uh, January 31, 2013 and reading it to them I'm in love with SMM we having a baby you remember that? I do Your Honor, I would object that is Faces. not that's not Stacey Bill 34W as you said 43W I said 34W the top one that's Stacey Bill 34W has multiple right I just did the top one you did say 34W yeah, the top one. I'm taking them individually. Okay, so you're taking a portion of 34 Correct, the top, the most highest tweet. Yes. Do you remember this tweet? I do. Okay. Um, Were you aware that the tweet on the same day before this um, tweeted out the song, or tweeted out Young Thug times Player times Bloody J hyphen against me productions? Objection. And a YouTube? Be aware that it puts it in context. Objection, hearsay, no. Oh, objection. Were you aware of that? I'm sorry, could you ask again? Yeah. Were you aware that the tweet before this tweet that you talked about with the state discusses a song? Yes. Okay, and the song Against Me. You're familiar with that song? Um, I don't remember if I've heard the song, but I do recollect that there was a relationship between this and the posting of a video. And are you aware that... I'm in love with SMM, we having a baby, is the line in a song against me. Um, I don't recall knowing that it was a line in a song, but I wouldn't dispute that it is. Well, I'm going to, with the court's permission, play that portion, just that portion of that, um, of that song against me. Sure. Okay. Give me an improper foundation, Mr. Steele. He's already acknowledged. He says he's, he agrees with me, so there's no need to play the statement. Why didn't you tell the jury 
yesterday that that tweet is, in context, a quotation from a song. And I'm to objection around to the question because only one person said this in context. I, 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 I'm going to sustain the state's objection, okay? You knew yesterday, you just testified that this was a lyric in a song, right? Um, yes, I do recall that it was related to a song, yes. And you knew yesterday that the tweet before this plays or go onto YouTube for that song, right? I didn't recall yesterday where in order these tweets were. But now you know. I do. Okay. So that is simply, stage 34W is simply a song lyric. Right? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Do you know, if you know, from whatever, just living, do you ever know that people on social media put on um, quotes from movies? Are you aware of that ever happening? Sure. Books? Absolutely. Inspirational phrases? Definitely. Songs? Yes. Okay. Let's go to 36W. <clears throat> will show you that tweet if it refreshes your memory just to get oriented when Mr. Kokomo is prepared to do that, if that's okay with the court. Can you orient yourself with that 36 W you testified about it? Do you remember that? Yes, sir. And this is February 5, 2013. Fair to say? It is. And it, all these are Mr. Williams' tweets for his Twitter account, right? Correct. All right. And you talked about um, the words, don't worry if I'm shooting as long as you get shot, right? I did. Now, were you aware when you were testifying yesterday that the two tweets before this tweet um, were, were we aware of what they were? Uh, no, sir. You were now? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Um, were you aware that Mr. Williams' three consecutive tweets, including this one, were tweeting out li Lil Wayne songs? Objection. Lyrics to songs? Objection. No Basis. Words. It would be hearsay. It would be out of context. You don't have to date any of those tweets. I they're, the sa they're the same exact day. They were immediately before. I'm putting it in context. Your Honor, objection, just because the same is in context, does not I'll sustain the person's performance. I'm seeing that to read. All right, let me show you. Let me show you, with uh, the court's permission, on Mr. Kokomo's computer, the tweets before. I've already given this to the uh, state, Your Honor. And, and we be asking just make sure that Mr. Kokomo, before he approaches the witness, that you sh he shows the state and you go with him. Yes, sir. I have. Okay. And do you recognize those are the tweets on the same day that the tweet in 36W? I do. And, Your Honor, I move for the admission of Mr. Williams, and it's a number 44. Just hand it to Mr. 
Mr. Kearns, please. All right, any objection to uh, to defend Williams 44 whiskey, three tweets? Yes, Your Honor. Basis? In the proper context, not the rule of I'm over the objection. Okay. I'll admit Defendant Williams 44, W, those three tweets. I mean, they publish as you see fit. Thank you, sir. When Mr. Kokomo publishes them, just we're going to orient the jury, okay? Yes, sir. All right. And if you need these played for you with the court's permission, we can uh, play the songs. Do you realize, you see the bottom, we're going to do bottom to top, okay? Yes. The top uh, tweet is what you talked about with the state yesterday. The, you see that? Don't worry if I'm shooting as long as you get shot. You see that? I do. All right. Let's start at the bottom just for completeness. Same date, correct? <clears throat> yes, sir. February 5, 2013. And uh, Mr. Williams' Twitter account wrote, is the auto tune on with all these question marks? You see that? I do. All right. And are you familiar or do you know that that is a lyric from Lil Wayne's song? called ice cream. I don't, but I wouldn't dispute that it's true. Okay, do you want to hear it? <laughs> no. To ensure it's that it's true. I said it doesn't got you, Mr. Steele. Okay. The next tweet is uh, one, and then there's a hyphen 900, hyphen who, hyphen want, hyphen it, hyphen I, hyphen deliver, and then two exclamation points if I read that fairly. Is that true? Yes, sir. Same date, right? It is. Immediately before the tweet that you spoke about to the jurors yesterday, right? Yes, sir. And do you realize that that um, is a Little Wayne, Little Wayne uh, lyric of a song also in 2009, Ice Cream? Um, I, I'm not, but I wouldn't dispute that it is. Okay, and if you want to hear it, we can do that, okay? I don't think that's necessary. All right, and then the last one, the one that is in stage 36, the one you testified to yesterday, about don't worry if I'm shooting as long as you get shot. That's the third one in the sequence, fair to say? It is. And that one, do you know yesterday when you testified, that is a Little Wayne song called Band, B-A-N-N-E-D. No, sir. You didn't know that when you testified? No, sir. No one told you? No, sir. The state didn't share with you these lyrics that I gave them? They did not. Okay. All right, let's go to number... There's nothing wrong with illegal with tweeting out um, words of a song, is it? No, there's not. Let's go to number 45W, if that's okay. Yes, sir. And this is a grouping of, um, well, let's show States Exhibit 45 and then we'll ask questions, okay? Now, do you remember, and maybe Mr. Kokomo can make them bigger just to make it individual until uh, we'll go one by one. But do you remember this being state's um, exhibit number 45? If you don't remember the number, do you remember it being an exhibit that you talked about yesterday? I do. Okay. Um, let's just go in order, but we'll start at the bottom again like we always do. And if Mr. Kokomo can blow it up a little bit. You, you see the very bottom uh, tweet, and it says, um, again, Young Thug in the... Uh, uh, True Religion, and then Young Thug, September 14, 2011, you see that? I do. All right. And then it has the writing. I like the YouTube video, and that gives the, um, the jump site, and then Young Thug, Rock Crew, Curtains featuring the real crew, right? Yes. And you're familiar, are you not, that Curtains is a song? I am. Okay. You didn't tell that to jurors yesterday, did you? Well, I wasn't asked about that. Okay. That's fine. But you would have told them if you were asked, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And when it says FT featuring 
you know that to mean that that person, the real crew or people, they're actually performing on that. Yes, I do. And featuring means that you're not really the main artist on it, but you have a portion of that, uh, that um, work. Is that fair to say? It is. All right. The one above it, if we can read that. Now, just to be fair, the states exhibit 45W, they're not all on the same day. These are not sequential, right? They do not appear to be sequential. So this one is now approximately 11 days earlier, and it's September 3rd, 2011. You see that? I do. Okay. And this one reads, I favorited a YouTube video, and again, it gives the YouTube site, Young Thug, Rock Crew, hyphen Education. You see that? Yes. And you knew yesterday when you were testifying about this that education is a song, right? Yes. Okay. And you didn't tell it to jury, I'm assuming, because you weren't asked, right? Mm, certainly, yes. But you would have told them, right? If I was asked, of course. Nothing wrong with showing people, hey, there's a song that I want you to listen to, is there? No, sir. Okay. The next one, um, I'm actually going to skip only because I'm going to come back to it, if that's okay with you. Sure. All right. But then I promise you we'll cover it all, but go to the top, second to the top one. And you see that one is also on September 3rd. You see that? Yes. All right. And again, it says, I like that YouTube video, and then it gives the video site at Young Thug Rock Crew, No Thinking, right? Yes. Okay. And you knew yesterday when you testified that No Thinking is a song, right? I'm sorry, what was the question? I apologize. You knew yesterday when you were testifying that No Thinking is a song. Yes. Okay. And it, I'm assuming it's the same answer, but I don't want to assume... You didn't tell that to the jury. Not that you were hiding it, you just weren't asked. That's correct. Okay. Nothing wrong with tweeting a song, right? There is not. And tweeting the YouTube site to listen to the song, is there? No, there isn't. Okay. And then the top of that page of 30, that's wrong, 43W, states 43W. That one is on a different day, September 6, 2011, right? Yes. And it says... We pull in curtains on them, and then in parentheses, rock crew, know that I'm worthy, end quote, and then at YouTube, right? Yes. And that, again, is a song, right? The YouTube link, yes. Okay. And that's what curtains is? Yes. Okay. Nothing, again, illegal about that. There is not. All right. Let's go to the center of States Exhibit 45. I want to talk to you about that. Okay. Remember you, uh, and this is a different date, right? It's, it's right before... Uh, New Year's on 2011, December 29th? Yes, sir. Okay. And it actually says photo on, I would say the, but the avenue with the rock crew and C was changed to K, exclamation point, shout out to, and then it gives John Woe Vision. Do you see that? Yes. And you knew yesterday, when you remember talking about this? I do. All right. You knew yesterday that John Wu Visions is a person who was the uh, videographer or uh, photographer of both. Um, I didn't know that, but that was my belief. Okay. And again, no one asked you about that. So the, yesterday, right? No yes. Right? Okay. And this is a shout out, a shout out. Tell the jurors what S slash O stand, what it means. And, and explain what it means, not just my word shout out. Okay, so um, as, as you said, um, S slash O typically means shout out, um, which means to uh, voice someone's name or mention someone in social media um, to, to expose them or kind of put them out there as a way to, to promote or support them. And um, then you showed a picture, and just for completeness, inside of the, um, I'll call it a rectangle, it just says um, Young Thug World, the blog, Tumblr, right? Yes, it does. And then underneath it, Young Thug World, the blog. Right? That's right. And then the same thing that's written in the caption um, on the avenue with the rock crew, three exclamation points, shout out to the same person, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And then um, there's a photograph, correct? There is. And you talked about that yesterday? Yes, sir. That was... Um, States 45WA, I believe. Can we show that photograph?
And that, I call it a post-it note, that, was, that wasn't put there by you, was it? No, it was not. Okay. You asked that be taken down and that's not the appropriate exhibit. I agree, except that's how I, the state's exhibit read. It needs to be redacted, sir. We can put up a 45W that we can that's fine. Okay, there it is. Um, would you just mind making it a little bigger, if you can, without losing any of the writing on it? And this is, uh, Your Honor, we moved over to State's Exhibit 45 WA, as in Elisa Alpha. Whiskey Alpha. Yes, I, I, I'll note that, sir. Okay, thank you, ma'am. All right. Um, on this uh, page in the center, um, you identified some people yesterday. You remember that? I do. Mr. Murphy, Mr. Williams. Uh, you identified actually two or three others. Fair to say? Yes. Okay. Now, the um, person who took the picture, or potentially took the picture, is given the shout out, right? I would interpret it that way, yes. Given the praise, I guess, that this person does this type of work. Thank you, or something, whatever the right phrase is, right? Yeah, that's how I would interpret that. Okay. And in this um, picture, there is nothing illegal, right? People making gang signs, which you identified yesterday, uh, wearing a red bandana around the face of that gentleman in the center back. But am I correct? Yeah, I don't, I don't believe this picture captures any illegal activity. Okay. And then it promotes, through Mr. Williams' Tumblr, it promotes the photographer or videographer, whatever we want to call that person, right? Um, yeah, in terms of a shout out, it does. Because what happens on social media is if I give you a shout out on social media, people may start to follow you. Is that fair to say? It is. And the more followers you have, the more interest in what you're doing, people are exposed to, right? Certainly. And the more, if you're in a business, let's say, let's say you were marketing yourself for like entertainment, the more followers you have, the more interest they may have in like your clothing line or your music. Is that fair to say? It is fair to say. So this is kind of like self-promotion and sharing with other people, right? Objection what? speculation. I'm not asking anyone to speculate. I'm going to sustain the objection just for a moment. This, this could be all done, if you know, from an iPhone, right? Sure. You don't need to have some corporation behind you doing HR and, and uh, advertising in in uh, magazines or newspapers, right? This could be just a picture and you're on the internet. Uh, yeah, yes. Okay. All right, now, on the right-hand side of State's Exhibit 45W, if you can pull it over a little bit, if you're able. You're familiar with that, I assume, correct? I am. And that is, um, and we're going to hear it maybe later today, but we heard a little bit yesterday. Remember you talked about the song Danny Glover? I did. And you're familiar with that song by Jeffrey Williams, right? Yes. And that came out in approximately 2012, 2013, 2014. I know the date, but somewhere in there. Yes, it did. And that song was extremely popular. Is that your knowledge? I do believe it was very popular. It went around the world, actually. Meaning it was played all over the world. If you know, if you don't know. So. I didn't understand what the question was. It, that song was so popular, it had hits all over the world. I, yeah, I don't know what its global reach was, but it was a very popular song. Okay. And the name of the song was what it says there, Young Thug, Dan Glover, right? Yes. And then underneath that, that is all promotional. Would that be fair to say? It is. And we'll go line by line, but you see where it has kind of almost centered, but Young Thug... World 1017, you see that? I do. And you know what the 1017 is, right? I do. Tell the jurors. It's our record label. And you know whose record label? Yes. Tell the jurors. Gucci Mane. And you know what 1017 comes from, right? Um, I don't recall. 
That's fine. That's fine. Um, and tell the jurors who some of them may not know, some of them may know who Gucci Mane is. He's a rapper and producer. Okay. And in this year, approximately, um, what would it be, 2012, he was uh, very, very well known. Is that fair to say? Sure. Okay. And the way I got 2012, by the way, you know how I did that? How you did what? About 2012 or maybe 2013. See where it says posted 11 years ago? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, and then depending upon when that was captured, it might have been, you know, 12 years ago now, et cetera, right? Okay. Okay. The next line is booking and features email. You see that? Yes. And that's for Mr. Williams if somebody wants him to perform, right? Uh, yes. And it gives um, the email address and a Gmail address as well as a phone number, right? It does. And it gives beats at youngfedbeats at gmail.com. You see that? People I do. want to give beats so that he may take them. Use them? Yes. And uh, it says Team YSL, you see that? I do. And then Team Brick Squad, you see that? I do. And YSL by this time is what Mr. Williams is using as his record label, right? So not knowing exactly when this was published, um, yeah, I, I believe I believe it was probably already incorporated by then. Okay. Incorporated or not, though. He was singing about YSL and using YSL. He, he as was. A label. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm assuming, I don't want to assume, you went through that entire Tumblr account to educate yourself for your testimony for the jurors. Am I correct? No, sir. This is the only post from this Tumblr account that I've reviewed. You didn't look at all of Mr. Williams' Tumblr account? No, sir. How did you know to review this one picture? Well, um, when the state asked me to review these particular tweets, this is one that was linked within one of the tweets I was asked to review, and I was asked to review this post from that link. You weren't curious to know what else is on that Tumblr account? Um, I, I was not, no. Well, since you come back, I'm inviting you to look at it if you want to, but every one of those posts has to do with music. Do you realize that? Objection hearsay. It's not hearsay. Do you know, as you sit here, what the all the other Tumblr posts deal with? Objection. Basis. It would be speculation because he said he has not a standing objection. You do me a favor. If you come back, which I'll call you if you need. I want you to review all that Tumblr, okay? Sure. Look out. And then you tell the jurors everything else that's on that Tumblr account, okay? Sure. And tell them if it has anything other than music-oriented promotion, okay? Well, I would say even this photo has more than just music promotion. That's great. And I'd like to go through these with you, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, starting at the bottom. Um, it's September 10, 2012, correct? Yes, it is. And, and just, no one's trying to confuse anybody, but these dates are all kind of mixed up. Is that fair to say? It is. On this exhibit, okay. We'll identify the, the date that we're looking at, okay? So this is the very bottom one, September 12, 2012, and you see the bottom, it's in quotes, and it says, at Latay 125, colon, at Young Thug World Blood, uh, colon, what up, bro? You see that? I do. And I believe you made it clear, but just to make sure um, the quotes was what Mr. Williams or whomever is responding responded to. Is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. So what was written was, what's up, bro? Um, by Mr. Williams in, res in response, yes. And, and I'm just being fair to everybody. I'm not saying it wasn't Mr. Williams, but it may not have been him if somebody else had his account. But whomever, the, the tweet went out on that account, what's up, bro? Fair to say? Yes. I and mean, that's a fair way to say it. Right? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, that's just that's the, and, and I think you cover this with the Honorable Mr. Shard, but the fact that some of them are, um, and you can look at the screen, some words are um, bolded. That's just the search that was done by somebody, right? That would be what I would believe happened, but again, I wasn't the one who pulled these, so I don't want to testify to what actually happened. If it's not, if I'm wrong, just when you come back, just tell me I was wrong. If I know, I will. Okay. Uh, let's go to the second one. Or the, the second from bottom. You see that one? It's February 4, 2013. I do. 
And this, this uh, tweet is, I have two mixtapes dropping by July with two exclamation points, true blood, and, and I'm just going to use the words, if I'm wrong, just tell me, I came from nothing for, first true blood, then I came from nothing for, two exclamation points. You see that? Yes, I do. And you know that I came from nothing, now we're up to four. Remember three was earlier, going to Chattanooga, Tennessee for Stop the Violence? <laughs> I do. Okay. And this is now another mixtape. The, yeah. the, it, there was a series of them, right? Yes. Okay. And um, you know that true blood was also a mixtape? Yes. And you realize that that was never uh, released? I don't know whether it was or not. Okay, but you know it was a mixtape? Yes. Okay. So that um, tweet deals again with music, right? It does. Okay. But not only with music, but it does deal with music. Okay. Um, and you said, I'm not trying to cut you off, but you said it doesn't only deal with music. So can you explain what you mean? Well, in each of these tweets that we've looked at so far, um, including this one, and I'm assuming others that we're going to review, um, certainly they involve music, but they also involve Mr. Williams' gang affiliation, um, which he has chosen to incorporate into the music, um, into his posts, um, and into the posts of his associates as well. Okay. Let, me, let me ask you a couple things about that. First of all, associates what did you say, gang associates? Is that right? I don't know if I'd say gang associates or just his associates. Okay. I promise you we're going to come back to States Exhibit number 50W, but can we follow up with some of your answers just now, if you don't mind? Of course. All right. When, when you say associating with associates, if, if I was helped out in my community, by others in the community, whomever. And I didn't cut ties with them as I started to gain popularity and traction and have some modicum of success. What's wrong with them? Um, in and of itself, there's nothing wrong with that. And if I, let's say I, I wasn't, um, let's say I was an entertainer. I was a sports person or a, a, a book writer or a movie critic or a gangster rapper, okay? And I wanted to shout out to my associates that helped me along the way. What is wrong with them? There's certainly nothing illegal about that. And if my associates, and I'm not saying they were, but if they were doing things that were against the law, but I still maintained relationships and shout outs. What is wrong with that? Well, and to be clear, Mr. Still, I don't believe that was my testimony that there was something wrong with that specifically. I mean, that simple action alone is not illegal or something criminal. Okay. So when you just said these two tweets, and I'm not picking on you, I just want to ask you, these two tweets have more than just music. It has, and I thought you said gang association, but you said association. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? There's nothing illegal about that, no. Okay, let's go back to States Exhibit Number 50W, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. But we're now going to go when Mr. Kokomo can do it on the, uh, on the third tweet from the bottom, if that's okay. Now, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just stressing this just to show, you know, and I know you didn't do this, but this is now May 15, 2012, correct? It is. All right. And that's when we're focused on. It says, where my blood bro be at on Cleveland. You see that? Yes. And you, you were interested in the Cleveland instead of Cleveland and uh, blood bro, I think. Fair to say? It is. And when I say you, I mean your testimony. Of course. I know you didn't pull the tweets, but that's what, that's what you talked about. Right. right. Now, have you ever personally tried to invent yourself um, as an entertainer, somebody that the people want to absorb your thinking and your conduct and you know, follow you? Have you ever done something like that? I'm not sure. I just understand your question. That's fine. Have you ever been in a position where you wanted people to... Um, listen to you, that you have a voice and you wanted people to hear that voice. 
Um, I don't, I mean, I think as much as anybody does. Have you ever gotten on a social media account to put out your personal thoughts and try to get people to follow you? I have not. Okay. You know people do that. Oh, certainly. And um, you know that this Twitter account is public, right? Yes, it is. Meaning any of the jurors, the court, the court, the, honorable, the best court reporter, they can get on Twitter and look these up for themselves, right? They certainly could. And knowing that this is public, and if a person, let's say Mr. Williams, Jeffrey Williams, wanted to promote himself to anybody and brand himself, what is wrong with using terms like um, where my blood bro at Believing? What is wrong with that? So again, I, I have not been asked to testify about something being right or wrong, nor do I believe that's been my testimony. And I'm, when I say right or wrong, it, I'm not talking about morality. I'm talking about legality. What's, what's illegal about that? There's nothing illegal about that specific act. And if you want people to follow you and get behind you of your character, that you're a gangster rapper, and, and you have to promote that hard, and you're fearless, and you won't back down, what is wrong with putting that out on social media? Objection, Your Honor. The speculation is that it would be going to someone else's mind state. I sustain the objection. What is illegal about trying a, a gangster rapper? You know what that expression means? I do. You know what gangster rap is? I do. You do tell the judge you're understanding gangster rap. So gangster rap, I, this may not be the best definition ever, but it's uh, rap music that specifically talks about the gangster lifestyle, which may um, involve criminal activity and things of that nature. And if a person sings about that, you know that they also may, you don't have to, put out videos about that, right? Certainly, yes. And they may want to portray themselves as that gangster, right? They may. And they may want to put out music videos with guns in it, right? Absolutely. And gang signs in it, right? At times, yes. And um, threats in the songs, right? There are, yes. And we're going to do a drive-by shooting, right? Uh, cer certainly. And um, drug sales. Yes. Or get high. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, any sort of things to promote that, that brand. That's all. You know that that happens, right? Um, the question kind of went in two directions. But that happens, right? It does. Okay. And there's nothing illegal in America or in Georgia of doing that, is there? Um, there's, there's specific acts in the hypothetical. No, there's not. All right. Let's go to, oh, my gosh, that's number four, if you don't mind. You see that the fourth one is January 31, 2000. 13, I, I see do. that one, sir? Yes. And I believe it reads, if I'm not doing it right, just correct me. Salute to all my slimes, all my bloods, all the thugs. You see that? I do. And this goes out across anybody with Twitter in 2013, right? Um, I don't know that it goes out to everybody on Twitter, but I understand what you're asking. It's available on Twitter. Yes. Okay. So, and, and thank you. So it's available on Twitter. And then... A person who follows Mr. Williams or follows somebody who follows Mr. Williams could be introduced to all this, right? Yes. And that's how you get fan base. You realize that? Uh, it can be, certainly. Yeah, okay. And if you are creating this brand that you're, you got slimes and you got bloods and you got thugs and you're singing about that, then this is promotion also, right? Objection, Your Honor, it's speculation. And it could be promotion. Do you believe that to be true? Objection. Okay. What is illegal about saying salute to all my slimes, all my bloods, and all the thugs? I didn't say and, all the thugs. In and of itself, there is nothing illegal about that tweet. All right, let's go to the next one up. January 11, 2013, you see that one? I do. And I believe you talked about this one yesterday, because you didn't talk about all these tweets. 
yesterday, but I believe you talked about this one. Am I correct? Yeah, uh, probably. All right, and it says, all my bloods, hashtag twisted, we cross with a C is gone and a K is there, and N out, um, hashtag black. You see all that? I do. Okay. And are you aware that the hashtag before twisted is a way to get people to go to that um, go to that place on Twitter. Objection, Your Honor, that'd be speculation. If you know, I stay in objection. Are you aware that putting a hashtag in front of a word on Twitter, what that does? I am. Tell the juries. Um, again, this may not be the best explanation ever, but um, placing the hashtag in front of a word makes that term searchable, and it helps aggregate the uh, mentions of that word in different tweets. Did you know yesterday when you were testifying that hashtag twisted, that is a song by someone named Sky Padmore. Were you aware of that? Um, I don't believe I knew who the artist was, no. Okay, you knew it was a song, though. Um, I, I can't remember if I knew if it was a song or not. Uh, I, I believe that I thought it was. Do you know it's a song today? I, no, I don't know any more than I did yesterday. All right, well, if I'm wrong, you'll come back and tell us. Okay? I, I sure. And then the next line, we cross, we, excuse me, we are cross an N or A, N out. You see that? I do. Okay. And you're familiar that that is also a lyric from a song, right? Yes. And did you, didn't, I don't believe you told the jurors that yesterday. Can you explain why not? I don't believe I was asked, um, although this lyric also was part of another video that the jury viewed, so I think they were likely aware of that. Okay, then we're, we're going to go into that the video as well since you brought up, okay? Sure. But that line is a line out of the song Cross Out, right? <laughs> um, I believe the name of the song was um, Triple Cross. It's, I, I think so. It's fine. We'll show the jurors. Okay. And that is a uh, line um, <clears throat> And a song by Ola Player, who you said is Mr. Micah Anderson, correct? Yeah, and I think I think the song is Triple Cross King, um, although that may not be the official title of the song. That's fine. Um, and Bloody J, right? Yes. What's his real name again? Which one? Mr. Bloody J. Justin Ushery. Thank you, Mr. Ushery. Um, and uh, Young Scooter, right? Yes. Okay. All right. What is wrong about, what is illegal, I shouldn't say wrong, about posting on Twitter, January 11, 2013, to all Jeffrey's followers and whomever, um, to other people to promote their music? There's nothing illegal about that tweet. All right, let's go to the uh, one above it, if you don't mind, on States Exhibit 50W. You see that January 30th, 2013? I do. And I'm not going to say it, but it says new SH blank T, true SH blank T, blood SH blank T, um, and two, um, two uh, uh, exclamation points, hyphen young thug, hyphen player, hyphen bloody J, hyphen, I'm saying hyphen, it's times, um, bloody J, hyphen against me productions, and then you go to Ferrari, smash, New February 13, and then the YouTube link. You see all that? I do. Okay, and you already told the jurors, but Against Me is a song, right? Yes. Okay, and that promotes the song, right? It does. All right. Um, the one above it is September 17, 2012. True Blood, Gonna Be a Fool. You see that? I do. Okay. And True Blood, you know that's the uh, album or the mixtape, right? Yes. Okay, that's music, right? It is. Okay, and then the very top one is Happy B-Day um, at Birdman 5 Star with a, I think it's five um, dots, Love You Blood, and then maybe four dots. Is that fair, what I'm saying? That's as close as it needs to be, I think. Okay, and that's February 16, 2014. Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> And that person, you already said, um, you believe, and you testified that that is a gentleman known as an artist and promoter uh, and record label owner, Birdman, but the name is Brian Williams. Is that true? It is. Okay. And it's a happy birthday, love you, blood. 
It does. All right. Now, 